Alex, we're looking at live images here of Governor Tim Walz and his wife Gwen um, getting pizza at, I think this is a place on 10th Avenue. I think I know this place. Um, you see Secret Service and other folks around, but they're just, there he is paying for the pizza. Uh, we think that both the candidates are overnighting in New York before they head back out onto the campaign trail tomorrow. Uh, our friends, it's called Justino's, I'm advised. Mm -hmm. um, our colleague Simone Sanders Townsend has joined us. Simone, what do you think of the debate? Well, Rachel. Yes. Look, yes. I, I, I'm in the Nicole Wallace caucus tonight. <laughs> okay. Let me just say this, that debates are about performance and they are about um, policy. And why, why this debate was very important is that there are many Americans out there, not just moderate Republicans, they're base Democratic voters that are saying they want to and need to hear more. Now, I think it is very fair for people to want to criticize those base Democratic voters to say, well, what more do you need? You can do that. But that is their lived reality. And so if you are trying to win their votes, you have to meet them where they are. There were so many niceties on that debate stage tonight. I am just kind of like, well, if you agree so much with J.D. Vance, why should they vote for you? Hmm. I fully believe that Governor Waltz went out there tonight and did what was practiced in debate prep did what the strategy was that the, that the team put together. That was not the Governor Walls that we, that I had seen out on the campaign trail. That's not the Governor Walls that I had seen during the Veep Stakes, right? That was not the J.D. Vance that I know to be true. I mean, goodness, J.D. Vance was on that stage. He was sorry about Amber Thurman. He was, he was sorry about a boy. He was sorry about a lot of stuff. He, we, we get things wrong, but do you agree with the policy? Mm. And then I just, you know, that's not the Margaret and Nora that I know. Mm. Margaret don't do that on Sunday morning. So I just think that I know that there's so many people out there that want normal. They want normalcy. They just want, you know, just be able to just disagree with, oh, you said a lot of things I agree with. This is not a normal election. Hmm. J.D. Vance is actually not t um, Paul Ryan. And Donald Trump sure as heck is not Mitt Romney. OK, and what happened on that debate stage tonight is was not enough contrast, was not clear enough for people sitting at home or, frankly, who will probably consume this through the clips in their local news or here on MSNBC or on social media to distinguish and make a difference. Sure, people, we Governor Prisker was absolutely correct. He did a lot of lies and people know he's, he was correct about one part. J.D. Vance did a lot of lying, but everyone doesn't know that J.D. Vance is lying. There is somewhere right now a Republican TikTok creator putting up a little clip talking about how, yes, Donald Trump saved Obamacare. Right. There was no one there to, I mean, some of this, so I think that Governor Walz got better on the counter block and tackling in the second half, but still. In the a, second, but on that Obamacare mm -hmm. point, so Walz came in and said, Donald Trump was trying to get rid of Obamacare and he would have, he signed on to this lawsuit, lost it, and then had a bill to get rid of it and would have got there had it not been for John McCain. You don't think that was a good enough rebuttal? J.D. Vance said, well, Donald Trump strengthened and saved Obamacare. Yeah. That's what he came back and said. Right. It's the right. audacity. I, I, yeah. I agree with you that we're in year nine, and no one knows how to cover the audacity. Mm -hmm. The audacity is, it, is that someone should have said, stop it, stop, stop. <laughs> Are you effing kidding me? And they should have, they should have dropped that F-bomb, right? I mean, they should have just said, we, this is a debate. This may be the only chance people have to see the difference. And instead, I mean, I'll go back to my toothpicks. J.D. Vance just put one little toothpick on top of the other and said, and I'm for this and I'm for this. And I'm so sorry those women died. They died because of Donald Trump. One man had a litmus test for the people he put on the Supreme Court, and he put not one, not two, but three on because they passed a litmus test that they would overturn Roe. And that's why Amber died. That's why that little boy doesn't have a mom. And nobody made that reality come to life. Mm. Because I think if you, even if you didn't get the contrast you were looking for, neither did you get any, any, you know, wake up and wait, smell the smelling salts. You know, Everybody's you were sort nice. of lulled into normalcy.